Okay, I got a request uh, under one of my in the, under the comments. I should say or in the comments under one of my uh, prior videos. Somebody wanted information on a supplement called calcium D glucurate. This is a kind of an obscure supplement. Uh, it's been around for a long time, uh, and uh, I'll try and explain, give you a little overview of what this stuff does. It has some interesting properties. Uh, it, it involved for, with bodybuilders many years ago because of its effect on estrogen. It, it, has, it, it has a tendency to reduce estrogen. Animal studies show it reduces estrogen levels by 23%. And it reduced this by 48 uh, percent. So basically, uh, it could also be because of that, because of the way it modifies estrogen metabolism, uh, it's considered to be of use in treating estrogen-related cancers, uh, particularly breast cancer. What is calcium glucurate? It's a calcium salt of deglucuric acid. It's called. Uh, and uh, it's it, it's uh, it's produced in humans. It's produced in the human body. It's also found in naturally in fruits and vegetables. And the highest concentrations are found in oranges, apples, grapefruit, and cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, that type of thing. Uh, now, what the main thing that calcium glucurate does is it inhibits an enzyme called beta glu called beta glu glu glucuron. It's hard to pronounce. Beta beta beta-glucuronidase, beta-glucuronidase, <laughs> probably mispronouncing that, it's a tough one, but anyway, this, uh, this particular enzyme is involved in what they call phase two detoxification in the liver. Your liver, as some of you might know, uh, <laughs> your liver is your main, the, the main function of the liver is the primary detoxification organ of the body. Your liver does something like 10,000 uh, detoxification uh, mechanisms. I don't know whether it's every hour, every day, every minute. I can't remember, but you know, the liver is what breaks down toxic chemicals in this, in a, in a, through a, a system called phase one and phase two. Uh, beta, -gluc uh, beta glucurase is involved in the uh, I'm going to call it BG beta glucurase. Uh, <laughs> it's involved in the phase two metabolism. Uh, now, basically, it, what this involves is a process called conjugation. What, what happens is the liver takes certain toxic uh, substances or potentially toxic substances, including carcinogens that you might have inhaled or eaten in food, that type of thing. And what it does is it goes through a chemical process called conjugation, where which involves uh, a, a, uh, a substance called, um, it's called, uh, a glu I, th I think it's called uh, glu glucon. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's it's called glucuronidation, uh, and basically, uh, or conjugation. Basically, let, let's make it simple. What it does is in phase two liver metabolism, it takes toxic substances and it turns them into uh, makes them water soluble. Then they, then they're sent to the kidneys and excreted harmlessly out of the body. So it protects you, right? The problem is that beta this this stuff this enzyme called beta uh, what's it called again beta beta glucuronidase glucuronidase, beta glucuronidase, that basically uncouples the conjugation process uh, and, it, and it allows, the, instead of the toxins being bound to this, let's say, substance that causes them to get out of the body, now they're free. It, it, it frees them and because of that, uh, you know, you can get all kinds of problems. Now, you, now you're, you're, instead of the, car, for example, instead of carcinogens being excreted by uncoupling them, through, uh, from the conjugation process, I know this is a little complicated. The, the now the uh, the uh, let's say the toxins or the carcinogens they have free reign, and you know those they're, they're bypassing the main detoxifying system in the liver, so they could eventually kill you. You know, you get cancer and all these things. Now, what is ba ba what is calcium glucurate does? Cal calcium glucurate works by inhibiting by inhibiting the, the beta glucuronidase enzyme, and by doing that, it, it maintains the conjugation process in the liver. Which protects you. Uh, uh, now, I should also point out that an interesting fact is conjugation is the way the liver uh, eliminates uh, oral steroids. Oral steroids, anabolic steroids, are, are, are molecularly designed to accumulate in the liver, and that's what causes problems because if you take large doses, they you know the, they accumulate in the liver and they cause a swelling in the liver. It's called a chemical hepatitis. This interferes with the flow of bile. And you get something called cholestasis, which eventually can lead to the breakdown of liver cells and severe liver problems. 
Uh, now, what, what, if you could, uh, uh, this conjugation process tends to keep the bile flowing, so it prevents uh, it prevents some of the side effects uh, that are induced by steroids. Uh, so it probably uh, taking something like calcium glucurate might be a kind of minor protective uh, supplement for those of you who take oral anabolic steroids, but it's good for anybody because, it, like I say, it keeps the um, conjugation process in the liver going, so it, it kind of takes stress off the liver, allows you your liver to uh, to eliminate a lot of these, uh, you know, potential toxins, because otherwise they would be they would be uh, they would be absorbed rather than excreted. And again, the beta glucuronase enzyme un uncouples the conjugation process and allows these toxins to get in the body. The, the calcium glucurate inhibits that enzyme and, pre and prevents the toxins from getting in the body. So it, it's kind of that simple. Uh, uh, it's not a, a calcium glucurate is not an essential. It's not an essential nutrient. So there's no deficiency. Uh, the, the only thing is that if you're not eating these foods like you know the fruits and uh, what is it apples, oranges, grapefruit, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. Uh, you might have a kind of a deficiency of calcium glucurate and its metabolites. Uh, and, and research has shown that a low level of deglucuric de 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 acid correlates with a high level of beta glucuronase. In other words, if you're deficient in, in calcium, uh, uh, I'm sorry, deglucurate, de de uh, de de what happens is the beta, uh, uh, <laughs> this is sorry, the beta glucuronidase gets more active. And interferes with the toxifying, detoxifying ability of the liver. Uh, now, what is this stuff used for? It's well, it's been shown, as I said, because it's involved in estrogen metabolism. <clears throat> it's been shown to reduce in animal models. It's been shown to reduce various types of cancer, including colon, prostate, lung, liver, skin, and breast cancers. Uh, and, and again, it, it involves again the inhibition of beta glucuronidase. Uh, and uh, uh, it's very, very potent against uh, breast cancer. Uh, when they combine, they also combine it with a form of vitamin A called retinoids, and the combination of de uh, calcium deglucurate and retinoids is more potent than either one alone at helping to prevent uh, uh, breast cancer. In fact, calcium deglucurate is so potent at this effect that it's been uh, some studies showed it's comparable to moxifen. Which is a drug uh, under the trade name of Novadex, which is very popular among bodybuilders for controlling estrogen. And Novadex works, or tamoxifen works by kind of uh, uh, blocking estrogen receptors. Uh, calcium glucurate does not do that, but it, 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 by, uh, by uh, inhibiting beta glucuronidase, it lowers estrogen about the same rate as, uh, as, as tamoxifen does. You know, in other words, so, so it's kind of a natural substance. Uh, a, a natural substitute, I should say. Uh, like I say, it's also involved in preventing liver cancer. It, uh, it's known to inhibit the uh, carcinogen, uh, car uh, the, the development of cancer in the liver. Uh, it, it inhibits lung cancer. Uh, the, uh, 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 one study found of 62 patients found that deglucuric acid levels were approximately 29% lower in smokers than non-smokers. So if you take a uh, smoker should take that it takes this stuff, it might help them uh, uh, kind of lower their risk for uh, lung cancer. It also helps to prevent skin cancer. As I said, it's very involved in uh, estrogen metabolism. It also tends to lower uh, serum cholesterol in rats by as much as 12 to 15 percent. It lowers LDL cholesterol, so-called bad cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein, by 30 to 35 percent. Studies in humans show that deglucurate Reduce total cholesterol up to 12%, LDL cholesterol up to 28%, and triglycerides up to 43%. Uh, now, the reason why it, it, it lowers uh, blood lipids like this cholesterol is not because of the beta glucuronase uh, inhibition. In this case, it's because uh, it increases what they call enterohepatic circulation, which, in other words, it, it, it kind of like promotes the excretion of bile acids. And the only way the body can get rid of cholesterol and, and a lot of these lipids is by converting them into bile salts, and then they're eliminated from the body. You can't burn cholesterol. So the mechanism of how uh, how, how calcium deglucurate, how it lowers uh, uh, cholesterol, 
is by increasing the flow of bile in the liver, which helps to eliminate cholesterol. That's how it works. So what else can I tell you about this stuff? That's basically it. Uh, it is, it's pretty. It's very safe. This uh, animal studies the human. The some supplement ranges between fifteen hundred and three grams or three thousand milligrams daily. Uh, so you know, this is uh, not much else to say about this stuff. It's kind of a spe specialized stuff. It's you don't hear about it. You don't hear. You never see it listed among nutrients that bodybuilder athletes take, but it could be useful. It's a natural. Let me sum it up by saying. It's a natural uh, adjunctive aid to helping to control estrogen in the body in a safe manner. It doesn't completely knock out estrogen like aromatase inhibitor drugs, like, for example, anastrozole or arimidex. Those are overkill drugs. They knock down, uh, knock down estrogen way too much, which, you know, you don't want to knock all the estrogen down because it causes health problems in both men and women. Uh, but this stuff will, will lower estrogen to a, to a safe point. Uh, and uh, as I said, uh, it seems to, by again, by inhibiting the enzyme that interferes with the liver detoxification process, it, it helps take stress off the liver and, and helps the liver work better to eliminate toxins, uh, chemicals, and carcinogens. So that's it for calcium D-glucarate. I don't think it's a very expensive supplement. If you want further information about nutrition, exercise science, food supplements, uh, ergogenic aids, anti-aging research you can use today, hormonal therapy, uh, food supplements, which ones work, which ones don't, fat loss techniques that really work, women's health and fitness, subscribe today to my Applied Metabolics newsletter, www.appliedmetabolics.com. When you subscribe, I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page where each day I put new information on uh, nutrition, exercise science, general medicine, and health topics. I have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics uh, website. It's uh, uh, so current subscribers only are welcome to send me short questions. It's only for current subscribers. I don't answer unsolicited questions. You're welcome to leave comments, uh, possibly questions under these videos. Uh, I probably will not be able to answer most of them. Uh, it all depends on my time. But in most cases, I always give my subscribers uh, the uh, preference because they support my work. And anyway, what else? That's about it. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> my newsletter incorporates 57 years of study and empirical uh, experience. Uh, I'm not an armchair philosopher. I've worked out all this time. Uh, I would say that probably I probably have more experience in, in this field than anyone currently publishing any type of digital newsletter. I can tell you that right now. I don't think anyone could match my years of uh, actual in the field experience, so to speak. I don't care how many PhDs any, anyone has after their name. So uh, subscribe today. Uh, again, www.appliedmetabolics.com. If you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter and adopt a dog. Take care.